more, but the TSA is in deep trouble. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Alex told you the government announced recently that the recession is over. It ended on June of 2009. The millions of Americans unable to find work might not agree. Perhaps the recession ended for the bankers and government employees, but for the rest of us, things seem to be getting worse. Gold and silver haven't heard the news either. They've begun their long-expected journey to the moon. In addition to converting your shrinking dollars into gold and silver, you should consider a food savings account from eFoods Direct. They both make fabulous investments. Food is our greatest dependency, and we know it will be more precious than any financial resource. You and your family need food to survive a crisis, and you can't eat paper, stocks, or metals. Alex has been urging you to invest in delicious, easy-fix meals to enjoy now or save for long term. This will freeze the cost of your food while you can still afford it. Visit eFoodsDirect.com on the Internet or call 800-409-5633. That's eFoodsDirect.com or 800-409-5633. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, we're going to open the phones up throughout the entire three-hour transmission today. The toll-free number to join us to talk about your TSA experiences. What do you think of them now saying, we don't touch anybody's genitals. We don't grope anybody. That's like Bill Clinton saying, I did not have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. How dare you? How dare you? Or Hillary three years ago, I will never run for president. Then she runs for president. She's saying, I won't run for president now. I'll never run for president. It's their religion to lie to you. And they're trying to overwhelm you with such incredible lies that you just accept lies and corruption and kind of just give up. It's like learned helplessness. But that's a dangerous game because if people fight back with the truth and don't back off, then the system loses all credibility and it has the reverse effect and people get angry and take action and don't listen to anything the system has to say. And that is now happening in a big, big, big way and it's very exciting. Toll free number to join us, 800-259-9231. And again, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, Michael Savage is not perfect, 
But he came out a year and a half ago and said he believes that Obama will stage terror attacks as a pretext to get control. That is Obama's controllers. That takes a lot of courage for a big national host to do. Uh, but when you talk about Matt Drudge, uh, Matt Drudge of the Drudge Report dot com really does set a lot of the media agenda. He's able to inject real issues into larger debate. You know, Matt Drudge four or five years ago was posting articles about world government, new world order, Bilderberg group. And the last two years, he the whole site during Bilderberg is about Bilderberg. And so uh, Drudge is that key juncture between mainstream and alternative media at, 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 at taking issues that are already in the underground and that people are already very upset about and bringing them mainstream. Bilderberg is now mainstream news, world government's mainstream news. People are having a real debate about the private Federal Reserve. Even the communist Chinese said they want the Fed audited yesterday and that what they're doing is hurting the global economy. Look at how mainstream Ron Paul is. Look at how mainstream Rand Paul is. Look at how mainstream this show is becoming. This broadcast gets more and more hardcore as we learn more. This show gets more and more hardcore every day, but we're also more and more mainstream because we are having a big effect. What did Mahatma Gandhi say? First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are now to the attack phase. What did Victor Hugo say? The French philosopher. No army can stop an idea whose time has come. But we're taught by the mainline government-controlled Rockefeller Foundation, World Council of Churches-controlled churches, that it's the end of the world, lay down, you can't fight evil. We're taught that we're powerless. We're taught that's just the way it is. We're taught that nobody's good and there's nobody for real and that, and, and that we can't have real victories. It's all lies. So much of winning is being able to identify good from evil, calling evil out, taking action, and never shutting up when you're attacked and ridiculed and laughed at. Never backing down. You know, this radio show, the news websites, the films, we just produce and produce and produce accurate, well put together information. We haven't bought into the government program of infighting because even if you're not part of the government program, you end up defending yourself and then get into the COINTELPRO by responding. That's why we don't respond to the lies and disinformation as the establishment at the highest levels of national media, think tanks, foundations, fake alternative media, literally swing every gun they've got and fire on us. And what does it do? It makes us bigger. Because the globalists are smart, but they're not gods and they're not invincible. Bill Clinton, every state he went and campaigned for, the candidates lost. In most cases, they'd be neck and neck or, 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 or the uh, Republican would be five points ahead. Bill Clinton would come to town. The person would suddenly get a 15-point lead, a 14-point lead, a 12-point lead. But still, Bill Clinton came to town. Still, they got him up there in speeches with Jack Conway. They think they're invincible. They've been winning so long, they don't know they're getting their butts kicked right now. Now, it's a big new Brzezinski does four or five months ago and said a humanity is awake and staring and recognizes the puppet masters, not the puppets. Now, the whole discussion of puppet on the left, puppet on the right, wait, there's one guy controlling both puppets. That is now mainstream. People are really starting to have a paradigm shift and a big awakening. And yeah, there'll be shills and there'll be fake Tea Party people and it doesn't matter. Real issues are now on the table and they're not going away. I mean, Rick Perry, you know, talking about secession and the New World Order and Ponzi schemes and the Federal Reserve. I've got him in the San Antonio Express News today. He helped pass four new systems of taxes in Texas. He's for NAFTA and GATT, for the, for the NAFTA superhighways, for forced Gardasil shots. The guy is a nightmare. But to win, he had to take on the political coloration of a patriot. But when he doesn't deliver on that, he's in deep trouble. And now they can't make fun of us when we talk about real issues because the Republicans have been forced to act like patriots. Do you realize what a key psychological mass capitulation victory this is. The system is capitulating. For decades, they made fun of people that talked about world government or the private Fed. They told people on Neocon Talk Radio just five years ago that the Fed wasn't private and that the Fed was good. Now they don't do that. More and more, you watch the banking committee hearings in the House and Senate 
And it's like watching the Alex Jones show, what the congressmen and senators are talking about. Whether they're really good or whether they're really bad, it doesn't matter because now they're forced to camouflage themselves. Some are good, some are bad. It gives other people in government and media courage to come out and join us. Folks can see the momentum, and then the, the wolves in sheep's clothing will be identified faster and faster now. This is a key juncture right now. The world government's coming down like a ton of bricks on us. They're bankrupting the nation. They're doing all these horrible things. But the people are now recognizing who the true authors of our great troubles are. That is what is so amazing and dynamic about what we're seeing. History is being made. We're not winning the fight, but we're starting to win. We were losing in the first rounds. Now we're in around six, seven, eight. We are starting to hurt them badly. For decades, when top scientists came out and said bisphenol A and most plastics was sterilizing and hurting people and causing cancer, the media made fun of it. Now they're taking it out of plastic all over the world. They made fun of fluoride. Now there's massive resistance to that. They're pulling it out all over the place. They made fun of us decades ago warning you about deadly vaccines. Now people just read the insert and read about brain disorders and sterilization and cancer. Record low numbers of people in modern history, taking the stinking shots. The globalists will probably launch a bio attack to, to make us be scared and go out and take them down the road. But, but still, at least we're fighting back. I mean, we know that if we get in a fetal position and curl up, they're going to kick our hind end politically, spiritually, psychologically, economically. All we can do is just realize we're our backs against a wall, societally, and we don't have a choice. We got to go 110%. And I liken it to all the confirmed police reports going back over 100 years of a wagon tumps over full of grain, in, in one case, onto a two-year-old girl. And the men are all standing around while the baby's screaming and can't get it off the baby. And, and the mother just goes crazy and lifts the entire thing off. Or the cases of women lifting cars off of children. It's the same thing. Your, your brain has a governor, just like a high-powered race car. It, I mean, I mean it, it could give you 2,000 RPMs, 3,000, I mean, 7,000, whatever the RPMs are. I forget how the, the, the whole gauge of RPMs. But, but it's got a governor blocking the RPMs so you don't blow your engine. Well, these are the times to blow your engine, folks. These are the times to take the governor off and slam the pedal down 110%. It's time to lift the car off the baby, okay? And when men and women can do things like that, that's why the top uh, power lifters, they actually put them under hypnosis now because they found they can trick their brain to, 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 to turn off the governor that blocks them from being able to, you know, squat 1,400 pounds or bench press 700 pounds or wh whatever the case is. I'm having one of those moments where I forget the RPM gauge. RPM gauge. I want to look at RPMs. Yeah, so I guess most cars, it goes up to 8,000 RPMs. And I've read, and I don't know much about engines, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, they, they could potentially you know, take the governor off and have the thing go up to 20,000 RPMs, which you're going to blow your engine. Well, so, so, so that's my crude parallel or, or parable or analogy uh, for what's happening and for what's going on uh, with what's developing societally. If you decide to get angry... Your town every day can be covered with flyers, with Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, or whatever news site you like, or whatever political message you want, and it will change the entire direction of what the town's talking about. Your truth will cut through all the local news, all the local radio, all the local dog show uh, flyers or, 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 or garage sale flyers. Your Patriot website will cut through all of the mindless uh, celebrity tribe. Uh, your local newsletter, because it has truth in it, will have a greater effect than all of the king's horses and all the king's men, all the propaganda. Your information that you call into a talk radio show with may change the entire 
direction of the discussion. As more people call in, the cowardly talk show host will begin to agree with your political views because now they feel safe to do it. See, the, the final...